It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Vibrant Forest Brewery and it's a bottle of their Imperial Red IPA coming in at 8.3% ABV. There's a look at the label. Black bottle cap with a nice white tree. The beer was kindly sent to us by Imperial Beer Club. Dot com. Check, check them out. Check out the link in the description box. Here we go then. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Be it in the glass then. Whoa, ho, 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 look at this. Blind me, blind me, blind me, blind me. Look at that. Bottle conditioned as well. There's a little bit of sediment here in the glass. Got to admit, I like the look of that. That looks dark and mysterious and and full of goodness. Look at that. Slow moving carbonation. Hazy, dark, murky looking beer. Whoa, it looks strong. Uh, one finger, slightly off white head. Let's get the aroma. Oh, 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 oh my goodness me, this smells fantastic. Oh, that smells just so juicy and fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Hoppy, biscuity, hoppy, hoppy. I think there's a ton of Simcoe in here. Let's dive in. Slightly earthiness as well to the beer. Cheers, everyone. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what a really good beer. Do you know what? It's quite, um, it's quite mellow. It's not, it's not overloaded with carbonation. It's not kind of fizzing in your face. It's not, there's enough carbonation to, to, for the beer to kind of slowly push around the mouth. And there's enough carbonation that the beer's not flat. But I like it. I like that. I like the fact that it's, it's, it's a nice, it's not gonna kind of bloat your stomach with loads of carbonation. It, it, it really is easy drinking stuff, but it's kind of medium mouthfeel. It's heavy, bulky. I'm trying to think of the word. It's incredibly, the word will come to me in a minute. Dank, that's the word, dank. It's, it's dank, it's, and that's a good thing for the beer. I, I like that. I like the fact that, you know, there's, there's hints of licorice in here and caramel and spiciness the hops are fantastic real fruit burst of hops on the back end lovely absolutely lovely 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 beer nice touch of licorice as I said it's quite earthy it's spicy the hops are fantastic there's a real big bitterness on the back end Look at this, watch now, as I rock the beer back and forth, look at that slow moving carbonation. Carbonation chasing the head of the glass, look, lots and lots of quality there. What does the brewer say about the beer? That's lovely. A multi red Imperial India Pale Ale with bucket loads of fruity American hops. Created with our own vibrant magic, our special radical spell will soon have you incensed about conventional ales. We cannot be held responsible for assaulting your taste buds with a full taste sensation in the battle against bland beer. Good on you guys, good on you. Vibrant Forest, radically radical. 3.30 bottle, 8.3% ABV. Uh, 
hand bottle with live yeast. They are based in Hampshire, Lyming, Lymington in Hampshire. There we are. So that's Byron Forest Brewery Imperial Red IPA. Fantastic stuff. I'm going to rate it. For me, with that big multi bready biscuity kind of backbone, the, the licorice, the caramel, the spiciness, then the big massive burst of hops on the back end with a great bitterness, that grapefruit, that pininess, that orange peel, lemon peel, the, the, the slow moving carbonation, the, 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 the way the beer has been built, it, it, the, the, it slightly tingles with carbonation on your palate and then it's just a rush of flavour after that. Nice big earthy malty meaty beer to be honest in terms of mouthfeel. I think it's an incredible beer. It's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Check it out at craftycrate.com. Uh, please subscribe. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.